The process of gutting the historic Stambaugh building in downtown Youngstown has started. It is being transformed into a double tree hotel. Earlier today, I toured the inside, walking around the fringes of history, getting a first-hand look at the wealth Youngstown once held. This is what we do, or Car Carmen does every day. My tour of the Stambaugh building, a 110-year-old anchor of Youngstown Central Square, began with an outdoor elevator ride to the 11th floor with developer Dominic Marchionda, where a demolition crew was getting rid of old carpet and an old shower. Is, Against the wall, a door from Stan Corp, Inc., which once occupied the building. Different phys physicians that operated out of here, Youngstown Sheet and Tube, um, you know, the list goes on and on. We also found signs reading standard slag, podiatrist T.W. Kunkel, and a long-gone federal abstract and title company. Take a look at these old drinking fountains dating to when the building went up, these column radiators used to heat the rooms, and the mail chute that connected the upper floors with the lobby. This will keep much. something like This will all you? stay. We'll clean it up real nice. It'll stay in place. Behind the chipping paint, are mahogany doors. Is this one of the doors that you could save? You could possibly save this. Right. It's going to need a lot of work. There is marble everywhere. The lower half of the walls, the stairs, and the floors. That's all marble. It's all marble. Yep, this is all marble. Everywhere, there are views of downtown. Though all of the building's 550 windows will be replaced, the views will remain. But we're going to disassemble that, and we'll use the components uh, as part of this, you know, the bar that's up here. I spent some time on the roof with views of St. Columba Cathedral and St. Elizabeth Hospital. This will be usable space. There will be a rooftop bar. This is where they're going to want to come to have a, you know, have a cocktail, uh, maybe have a quick bite to eat. From the roof, we walk down all 12 floors through the open staircase that will remain open. I was shown a floor that has already been gutted, open from end to end, almost ready for hotel rooms. We ended in the lobby, where the remnants of former tenants could be seen once again, along with a bank vault, a detailed ceiling, and a chandelier. And to think, this will all soon be a grand hotel in downtown Youngstown. I think it's one of the key components of, of the revitalization process and the, re re the renaissance that we're experiencing. Well, the plan is to have the hotel ready for a soft opening in December of 2017 next year. Yeah. But the big grand opening party, New Year's Eve 2017. That oh. should be a fun one. Oh, that'll be fun. And yeah. I was just seeing in that last shot, we were looking up at the building. Did he talk about any plans to change the outside of the I don't, building? I don't think that's, it's, a, it's, a, it's on the National Register okay, of Historic so Places. The yeah, well, there's a lot of things he can't do. Yeah. Uh, anything that's original needs to stay original. And if he can't, then he has to make it look original. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of rules to this thing yeah. he's got to follow as it goes right through the and process. And just kind of stick the hotel rooms in the middle that's of that. That's what he's huh? got to do, right. That'll that's what cool. he's going to have to do.